two purposes of the ROF. One, do they understand their condition? So when you look at the script, the ROF looks like a script, but it's really not. When you go in the script book, you're not supposed to say all that stuff. Really what it is is four questions. The answers to those four questions are facts. Now, the way the script flows, we make the answers to those questions very easily. You'd never, you don't want to ask a person a complicated question. You want to ask them a question where the answer is obvious and it's easy. So that way you don't challenge them, break rapport by poking on their self-esteem or their impression of themselves. Right? You never know what a person's been through in their life, learning disabilities when they were young, what their parents told them, how stupid they were, some professor told them what they couldn't do. So you don't want to ask them a question where the answer is going to be challenged because they're not following your train of thought. You want to make the answers obvious. On that note, it's very easy to give the right answer. That has intention. The intention is also to make them say it. It doesn't matter what you say, it matters what they say. The most powerful, uh, Roberto Monaco quote, the most power, powerful type of persuasion is self-persuasion. You have to own that mantra. That mantra has to be in your beingness. Because one of the, also, the principles of coaching is you can't make anyone do anything. You can only help them to help themselves. So when you know that, how do you get them to help themselves? Because the most powerful type of persuasion is self-persuasion. So that's one of the reasons why people have to answer questions regarding their own condition. Again, I'm repeating myself, however, the answers to the questions are going to be obvious. Just because they answer the questions doesn't mean anything. Just because they say their health's getting worse every minute they stay there doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean they're ready to move. What it means is they understand their, their condition. Is that important? Is it important that they repeat it? Yeah. What's more important? I don't want to be like this anymore. That's more important than this. So two purposes. Do they understand their condition? Those are facts. Are they ready to change your life right now? That's an emotional decision. You just have to make sure that they're serious about it. Those are really the two purposes. When they understand their condition, they get it, it moves them emotionally, you've taken them through an emotional experience. What kind? an emotional experience, and they've absolutely convi convinced you they're ready to get out of the cesspool, you know, then we give, an, and at that point, then you give them the initial requirements of being accepted as a patient. If you don't feel confident that they're ready to accept those requirements, then you miss an objection. There's no sense in telling people they got to come every day, go to the workshop, pay for a correction potential x-ray, and do all this stuff when they're not engaged. All you're going to be doing is bringing on objections and handling conversations and talk that you don't want to deal with. And you shouldn't have to deal with it. You missed an objection. Make sense? Say yes. This is an interview. It's important to understand that the ROF is an interview. It's not you describing an x-ray, showing them they have a problem, wow, they have phase three degeneration, they're really screwed up, they're going to commit for sure. Has anybody besides me, and you can be honest, saw a patient really screwed up, smiling, thought, man, they're really screwed up. You know, hey, it's bad, but that's cool because I know they're going to commit, right? Have you ever done that? Does it work that way? Does it always shock you that that person walks out? I think, how could they be that screwed up? Because they don't feel about that x-ray like you feel. Right? They don't feel the same way. So it certainly isn't a fact, and we know that already. So your intention is to go interview them. It's just like when we went through the perspective drill with Jen. First, you know, almost first thing, uh, you know, yesterday morning. 
Do you think when I begin that drill that I have any idea where we're going? I have no idea where we're going to go. So if I'm not totally clear, I can't take her to that place. So I have to make an A to an A connection. I have no idea when I say, what do you want to work on today? I have no idea what she's going to say. And then obviously, I don't know her life. I have no idea what that one event is going to be that when we clear that, her life and perspective and everything and how she feels and energy in her body and everything is going to change. We have no idea. The benefit and the biggest benefit and the biggest detriment is you know you know the direction where that report of finding is going to go. The benefit is you can control it. The biggest detriment is you can push your agenda to get to an outcome that you desire as opposed to being so open and clear that I allow that person's agenda to be able to be expressed, their feelings and emotions to be expressed, so as they give something to me, then I have the power to change their focus. The problem is this is a system. Success is a balance between control and flexibility. You have control because we know I'm going to tell her to spinal cord stretch like a rubber bands get thicker, thinner, all that stuff. Do I know how they're going to receive it? I don't know. Do I know what their response is going to be? Do I have a pretty good idea? That's the problem. Because your prediction is your worst enemy. Because that sets an agenda. It takes you out of level three, puts you on level one, and then you're selling and convincing. And once you do that, you've lost the ability to influence. And that is a subluxated person. You will not hear their objection. You will not even notice the silver platter perspective they just gave you that was one word because you're in your own head. Yes? 